All right, today we're going to be showing you how to install a Delta shower trim. If you don't know who I am, my name is Karsten, and this is the Plumbing Gurus, and we're at the on-site edition here. So with Delta, they don't come with a cartridge built in. So when you go to take this cap off, this plug, if you don't have the water turned off, you're going to get wet. So because there's no internal stops, some of the Delta cartridges, or the Delta rough-in valves, sorry, will have internal stops in here. You can turn those off so you don't have to turn the whole house off. But in this case, these ones do not have internal stops. We've already shut the water off and drained it downstairs. So you want to make sure you do that so that when you take this off, this thing just hand tightens and it just comes off, this nut. We've already let the water pressure off of here, but sometimes there can be water pressure here. So I highly recommend standing to the side and then taking it off because sometimes water will shoot out here. And if you're standing right in front of it, I've done it before in the past when I was new to this and I got soaked. So a little power tip for you there. Get rid of that guy, we don't need that. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put on the, the cartridge. So with the cartridges, they're super easy. These can be adjusted hot and cold. So if you, don't, if you wanna have it not get to a certain temperature, like super hot, you can adjust it. But we always set them to the hottest temperature because people like to have hot showers. So um, the only time we really dial it down is if we know for sure there's gonna be young kids or old people that we're supposed to be dialing them down, but we let the homeowners kind of decide and everybody says go hot. So then on the cartridge again, there's an H here. So H for hot. Hot is always on the left. And the nice thing about Delta is you can't really screw this up because there's two little notches right here. If those notches aren't lined up, it won't go in. So then you just push that in to seat the, the, the seal there. And then this nut that we took off, we just put it back on. And this just needs to be hand tight. I just grab with two hands and just snug it up and that's it. So we've already set this to the hottest temperature. We know that's good. So the next thing I'll do is I'll put this sleeve on. There's this little sleeve. It comes with two, two parts. This part, not actually sure what it does, but we put it in there. That's where it's supposed to go. And then there's a little gasket here. What this thing does is you just put a slide it over top of the housing. And in this sleeve, what that gasket, all, all that's doing, that O-ring, is making this snug. If that wasn't there, it would be kind of loose in there. So it just slides in there, and it's nice and snug. Next thing is the finished trim plate. This particular trim plate is just the two screws. Some of the other Delta valves have other ways of doing this, but this is the most simple way. This is why I love Delta so much. You only need two, two tools. You need a Phillips screwdriver and an Allen key. To install these it's great so now that we've lined this up with our screw holes you slide your screw in and you just screw it on and then with these you want to make sure you're not going too snug or too tight sorry just a little bit snug I'll snug that one up just a little bit and then I'll do the next one there is a, a seal behind these trims so I allow that to make my water seal I don't usually put silicone on these if some contractors are very picky and want silicone I'll let them do it because I don't I can do a nice job siliconing I'll do it for them if I need to but what happens is you just leave smears on these and I don't really care for that and if you ever need to work on it then you're cutting silicone and whatnot so again when you're putting these screws in just need to be snug not super tight or you can wreck the the rough end valve the where you're screwing your your screws into and now for the handle the handle comes with a, a set screw and the when you buy a brand new delta valve it comes with the proper allen key i believe it's a 2.5 millimeter i don't know what it is in uh, imperial but a 2.5 millimeter will work and you just so now we know that's off and that's hot and we just tighten this guy on here snug it up doesn't need to be super tight make sure it's not coming off Push that in a little bit so that this can go in and out. And voila, Delta shower valve. Probably one of my favorite trims to install because they're very easy. I do a lot of them, so it's quite easy. I just, I grab the parts, I just start installing it. I don't have to read instructions. Uh, if I'm doing like a weird price fister valve or some other valve, or even some of the Kohler valves I don't do a lot of, uh, I have to pull up the instructions. Again, you need two tools for this. I love that Delta's made this so simple. Let me know if you have any issues with installing yours. Some, some trims are different, so we can help you along with that. Just ask us questions in the comments, and uh, hope to see you on the next one.